Well, welcome back, everybody. It is time to get cooking, and today we are joined by Chef Brandon from The Blind Pig. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. Happy Friday, and it is also Bear Down Friday. What are we making yep. today? So today we'll be making one of our most popular dishes at The Blind Pig, our pulled pork sandwich. And with uh, game day just around the corner, it'll be a perfect uh, tailgating addition. So um, feel free to stop by university, and if you're not interested in cooking it, just stop by and fill up your tank before you go tailgate. Awesome. But, so what do you do to get this meat ready? So first we want to make our dry rub. Uh -huh. and we have all, all our spices right here. Okay. So we have our NATO seeds right here. You want to ground that up. So you grab one uh, tablespoon of each right here. So we okay. have our NATO seeds, our garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and our oregano, uh, coriander. And then you want two tablespoons of our chili and our uh, coriander, uh, oregano. Okay. And then once you have that, you mix it up together, rub it in on your meats, make sure you cover all surface areas. Once you've done that, you wanna grab one to two cups of your uh, deli mustard, also lather it all around. Uh -huh. um, once you've done that, set your meat aside, and then we're gonna make our uh, braising broth. Okay. So right here, we have our chicken uh, broth. You want three cups of this, and uh -huh. uh, two cups of your uh, barbecue sauce. We use our house barbecue sauce, but you can use any barbecue. That's oh. right, you guys make it in Yep, house. everything in house. Uh -huh. And then you add uh, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Uh -huh. Put it in, in a pot that will fit your uh, size meat. of meat. This is four pounds. And how long do you keep it in there for? So like around like five to six hours. So okay. once you stir it up, raise it up to a temperature about 190 degrees. Uh -huh. Put your meat in there, put the cap on, let it simmer for mm. five hours. And then I'm once sure it smells so good. Um, and you guys have a lot of fun things going on mm -hmm. for Bear Down Friday. Yep. So uh, we have uh, happy hour deals all day today, and uh, mm -hmm. our drink deals are also uh, buy one, get one. So feel oh. free to stop by. So once your meat is done cooking, you can okay. start pulling your meat. And everything just kind of falls apart. Falls apart. apart. You, okay. can, you can just use your hands. And or then... wear some gloves as well. <laughs> it gets a little messy. <laughs> yep. Okay. Warm up your buns once you're doing that. Okay. Pour, pull it together once it's warmed up. And what do you have on here? Butter. Oh, yeah. some butter. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. And where are you guys located again? We're located on University, right in the alleyway between Chipotle and uh, Baccio, the Italian restaurant. It was just one of your f most favorite menus on the item. Yep. I feel like it's so easy on the go. Really yep. great for like a tailgate. Mm-hmm. Finish it off with some barbecue sauce. Okay. And it's up to you if you want to add some coleslaw to it. That's a nice little, little crunch to crunch it. Crunch to it. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite out of this one. This one's already made. And then you have some what? Some fries? Mm-hmm. Our waffle fries. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it. I know it's a little messy. Mmm. So good. Yeah. Alright, if you guys want to get this recipe, head over to our website, kvoa.com. We'll